Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Junal De Rivera, a human resources consultant for the Winnipeg Regional Health Authority. I'm thrilled to be here speaking to the future of healthcare. New grad nurses are ready to step into this noble profession. Transitioning from the classroom to the clinical setting is a monumental step, and the interview process can seem like a daunting hurdle. Today, I want to talk about how to nail that interview, specifically addressing ways to overcome anxiety and how to leverage your academic and practical experiences to showcase your best self. So let's start with a common hurdle, anxiety. It's natural to feel nervous before an interview, especially when it's for a role as important as nursing. Here are some strategies to help you manage and overcome this. First is research the institution. Understand their mission, values, the population they serve. Familiarize yourself with recent news or achievements they've had. This not only prepares you to answer questions, but also shows the interview that you are genuinely interested in their institution. Next is to practice common questions. So practice your responses out loud. Consider recording yourself or practicing in front of a mirror to refine your delivery. Because at the end of the day, these questions, while common, uh, it talks about you as an applicant and only you would be the best person to answer it. So when we talk about mindfulness and relaxation techniques, I always uh, say that deep breathing exercises work. Uh, my experience is that I've always done inha like inhaling deeply for four counts, holding for four counts, and exhaling for four counts. Repeat this as a few times for your interview to help manage, manage stress. And it's somewhat effective as I've done it myself. And also you have to picture the interview going smoothly as part of the positive visualization that you'll need. Um, picture also leaving the room feeling proud of your performance. This gives you that extra boost in confidence. Now, when we talk about mock interviews and self-care, uh, one big thing would be role-playing. And when you do a uh, role play, you ask for honest feedback on your responses, body language, and overall presentation. The more you practice, the more comfortable you'll become with the process. For your physical well being, you should always be taking care of yourself, uh, and this will significantly reduce anxiety. Eat a balanced meal before your interview, staying hydrated would be best. Now let's talk about how can you use what you've learned in school to your advantage during the interview. When we talk about highlighting clinical rotations, um, you might say a lot of things, right? As you've rotated into different departments, you might say that in your rotation in the emergency department, you quickly learn to prioritize patient care in a high pressure situation, uh, which makes you well suited for the fast paced environment of the hospital. Be sure to tailor your experiences to the job description as it shows that you understand the role and its demands. Second is to showcase your relevant core coursework. And this is just focusing as well on what you've learned. Um, Let's say you completed a certification in ACLS, Advanced Cardiac Life Support. So this equipped you with the skills to handle critical cardiac emergencies. So if the position you're applying for needs that or prefers that, uh, you, you got to talk about it. This demonstrates your commitment to the field and your specialized knowledge setting you apart from other candidates. Next is to emphasize your soft skills, talk about communication, teamwork, empathy. These three very important in nursing and we as employers want to hear about it and how want to hear how you do it, how you showcase this. 
um, whenever you're dealing with not only uh, patients but also your fellow colleagues or and or everyone around you. Next is I want you to discuss projects or any type of research you've done. Uh, shows your ability to engage in evidence-based practice and your dedication in advancing nursing knowledge. Because at the end of the day, even though you're done with school, the learning does not stop there. You learn on the job, you learn through the years, especially in this profession. And reflect on feedback. Constructive growth is very important. Uh, and, and you'll receive a lot of feedback during your training. You'll receive a lot of feedback uh, when you're on the job itself. But reflecting on them and really building up to them, this shows your self-awareness and commitment to continual growth. Also, know your worth, right? Know your worth on this. And, and I talk about this when we're building and projecting your confidence. At the end of the day, yes, you are new grad nurses. But because of it, you bring a fresh perspective, uh, a willingness to learn, and a passion for patient care. You being in this position shows that you not only are a great person, but you're also willing to show and share that greatness to other people. So don't underestimate it. Underestimate your, the value of your perspective and energy. Okay, so let's talk about body language. Um, body language, nonverbal cues, pay attention to your body language. Yeah, basic stuff, stay, sit up straight, make eye contact and offer a firm handshake if you're in person. These nonverbal cues can convey confidence and professionalism. Remember to smile and show enthusiasm. A positive attitude is contagious and can leave a lasting impression. Also, ask questions, right? When you're trying to be present yourself as someone confident so that they like you more, um, ask questions. Uh, it's, it's all about also questions about engagement and fit. Ask about the team dynamics, opportunities for professional development, and what a typical day looks like. Because this not only shows your interest in the role, but also helps you determine if the workplace is a good fit for you. Let's now talk about the LEADS framework. And I'm not quite sure if everyone knows the LEADS framework. So uh, the LEADS framework is highlighted by the Canadian College of Health Leaders as an excellent tool to structure your responses during interviews. This is because I believe that good leadership can be found across all levels in healthcare. Maybe leading a team, leading your peers, or maybe just leading yourself to be the best that you can be, right? Um, everyone's a leader in their own, own right, even people who are just joining the workforce. Um, I, I'm a big proponent of leading by example, as well as showing that not only would you be a good follower, but also a leader in this profession. So when we talk about leads, it starts with leading the self. You have to be self-aware. Talk about how you are proactive in seeking feedback and continuously improving your skills. Reflecting your, on your own strengths and areas for improvement. Next is you, how to manage yourself, right? How you manage yourself under pressure. Discuss specific instances where you maintain professionalism and composure in high stress situations. Next is engaging in others. So when we talk about engaging in others, um, one, one big thing is to foster development. Talk about how you take initiative in mentoring fellow students or maybe in study groups or just lower level years uh, in your school. 
and how you foster a collaborative learning environment. It highlights your teamwork and communication skills. And that's very important because when you're a nurse, you, you work in a team and teamwork makes a dream work. Yeah. <laughs> um, next is uh, you just build teams, share examples of you, how you've contributed to team cohesion and effectiveness. Nobody likes a person who just keeps to themselves, right? It's, it's very important when you project yourself as someone who's easy going, easy to um, understand and easy to uh, jive with. Um, and it, it makes you more hireable at the end of the day. Uh, continuing on with the leads framework, we have A for achieves result, results. Um, for achieve results, uh, oh, let's talk about like setting uh, direction, describe how we set goals and achieve them, right? Strategic thinking, um, instances where we demonstrate strategic thinking and problem solving skills. Um, may be a case study that you've had during school or for a diff for a specific coursework. Uh, talk, talk about how uh, you've looked at it at an at a out of like using out of the box thinking. Uh, I, I, employers love that, right? Employers also love um, looking at you and saying that this person. Uh, knows how to solve problems in ways that might not be conventional. Uh, but at the end of the day, they have to be strategic, evidence-based, uh, follows rules and protocols uh, because you'll be saving lives. You'll be very, uh, a very important uh, member of the healthcare team. Which brings me to the next part, which is develop coalitions. I know I've talked about teamwork um, a lot in the few in the last few slides, uh, but I want to emphasize on building partnerships um, and also mobilizing the knowledge, your knowledge or others' knowledge in, in that in those partnerships, because developing these coalitions, uh, promoting teamwork in, in this area, uh, and being able to project that in the interview itself, or even when you're on your um, trial period, probationary period, uh, makes you a good candidate as well as a good employee. Last part for the Leeds framework is systems transformation. And I know that all of you are new grad nurses, but we have to talk about being a champion and orchestrating change. So you got to show as well that you're, you have the ability to adapt to changes. Because in healthcare, uh, sometimes the mandates, the, uh, what do you call this, uh, the targets, the goals change on a day-to-day -day basis. And so you have to take these changes and be able to uh, work through it so that you can show that you can do it. And, and by incorporating the LEADS framework, you, you provide a structured and comprehensive answer that showcases your skills and experiences effectively. Uh, this shows you, this shows the interviewer that you're up for the challenge. So here are my final thoughts. You are embarking on an incredible journey in healthcare. And I have no doubt that you will bring compassion, dedication, and excellence to your future roles. Overcoming anxiety, leveraging your education and experience, and projecting your confidence, it will certainly help you as you go through the interviews, go to the different um, events that you would like to participate in on the job hunt. So I'm going to be wishing you the best of luck. Uh, thank you for your commitment to making a difference in the lives of patients and their families. I'll now end the initial half of this presentation as we transition to my colleague Adunya to talk more about mastering the art of interviews.
Thank you.